Ok, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. So, hari ini kita akan sambung balik chapter 4. Ok, so the last one you belajar pasal force dengan macam mana nak free body diagram kan. So, ada 5 types of forces iaitu weight, tension, normal force, friction and external force lah. Ok, so basically free body diagram ni adalah satu diagram yang menunjukkan Uh, mana objek kita iaitu uh, kita buat bulat macam ni and then kita akan lukis uh, force dia arah mana lah ke sana ke ke sana ke ke sana ke so basically free body diagram is a diagram that shows all the direction of the forces ok tu yang tu yang kamu belajar and then kamu juga belajar pasal macam mana kalau kita um, nak soalan tu minta magnitude and direction so macam mana kita nak uh, mulakan uh, langkah kita untuk menjawab soalan tu so the first step remember is to draw the free body diagram so contohnya macam ni lah ok uh, and then kamu akan tahulah mana part si Y dengan X dia and then kamu kena resolve dia ok resolve dia dah draw tu resolve pula kepada uh, contohnya ni kepada Y dengan kepada X component. Okay, so you uh, have to make a table lah. And then the third one is to find the magnitude. So how to find the magnitude, you use this formula. And then direction, you use this formula. Okay, so contohlah ada soalan tu yang di mana tangent theta, contohlah. Dia ada value dekat Y saja. Katalah positif 5 bahagi kosong kan. Tekan kalkulator tak dapat. Ha, so kat sini kita tahulah uh, dia ada value dekat, uh, dekat Y. So Direction dia lah ke atas okay? Kalau value dia negatif Kita cakap direction dia ke bawah okay? And then contoh Kalau kamu ada situation Di mana uh, Y tak ada value Tapi X ada Katalah positif 3 okay? So X positif So ke kanan okay? So kita cakap direction to the right okay? Right. So that's on uh, 4.1 Lepas tu kita akan masuk uh, 4.2 iaitu Newton's law of motion okay, So ada two types of uh, Law iaitu first law Dengan second law obviously lah okay, So kita akan tengok the first law And then kita tengok apa maksud dia eh. okay, So first law Newton Cakap okay, An object that is at rest Okay, will remain at rest okay? or an object that is moving will continue to move in a straight line with constant velocity if and only if the net force on the object is zero okay, apa yang dimasukkan dengan statement ni okay, kita akan discuss this one first okay? so I'm going to show you an example I must act it on by an unbalanced force I'm going to remove the middle cup which means that the ball is just going to be sitting here and then it will only be acted on by gravity causing it to fall into it by applying force only to this, I didn't act on this object or this object, so they should stay where they are. What? What? No! Okay, the video just now showed that uh, an object that is at rest, contoh bola tu at rest kan, will remain at rest. Okay, instead of dia pergi ke sana, sebab kena pukul dengan baseball tu, uh, dia jatuh straight. Uh, downwards because it wants to remain at rest okay and then contoh ini pula an object that is moving will continue to move in a straight line with constant velocity ha, ni contohnya kalau kamu ada dalam um, bus kan kamu ada dalam bus lepas tu tengah pegang yang dekat cangkuk atas tu so kamu tengah berjalan tiba-tiba bus tu stop so what happen kamu akan macam ter terjah ke depan sikit kan ha, sebab uh, that is a first law of initial dia nak maintain dia punya motion at that moment contoh kalau kamu at, at rest so whatever happen dia nak maintain kalau boleh at rest and then kalau you moving so walaupun uh, bus tu dah stop but you are tend to move uh, uh, puts to terjah ke depan sikit sebab dia nak maintain the motion of dia tengah bergerak tu okay so uh, that is first law lah in contoh in real life okay and then nama lain adalah initial I'm sure you've heard of this before okay so now that you know the concept okay let's uh, talk about on how to answer questions about the first law okay right so uh, conclusion ni adalah daripada definition ni kita dapati bahawa okay, bila kita cakap pasal first law ada dua keadaan benda ni boleh berlaku lah iaitu sama ada when sesuatu objek tu memang static lah maksudnya memang tak bergerak okay? uh, and then the another condition is that okay, this one eh and then the condition is that dia bergerak dia move tapi with constant velocity okay? so bila kamu nampak dua keadaan ni ok uh, it means that uh, this is uh, Newton first law lah okay? So kita terperincikan lagi okay, Newton first law ni dari segi matematik dia apa okay? Okay, And then 
uh, Dari segi matematik dia Kita boleh cakap Okay Total force sama dengan zero. Okay. Total force sama dengan zero. Okay. Kenapa total force sama dengan zero? Sebab bila dia statik, total force mesti sama dengan zero. Kalau total force kamu ada value, katalah positive 3, it means that you are moving to the right. Okay. Ataupun negative 3, you are moving to the left. Okay. Alright. So, that is why total force mesti zero when we talk about initial ataupun first law. And then, bila move with constant velocity, walaupun dia bergerak, tapi we, bila dia bergerak dengan constant velocity, remember constant velocity itu maksudnya dia punya kelajuan tu sama je. Kalau daripada awal sampai akhir, dia punya laju 5 meter per second. So, tak ada pecutan, tak ada acceleration. Okay. So, this one, acceleration sama dengan kosong sebab tak ada pertambahan kelajuan. Okay. And then, kita tahu daripada general knowledge kita bahawa uh, force F ni the famous Newton punya equation tu F sama dengan MA okay? jadi apabila A kosong eh, maka F pun kosong okay? jadi nak cakapnya uh, bila bila kita nampak uh, sesuatu keadaan tu static ataupun bergerak tapi with constant velocity it means that the total force is zero and this is the uh, Newton first law lah ok uh, and then kalau kita nak bagi nama kat dua keadaan ni kita panggil dia sebagai equilibrium ok so bila kamu nampak lah perkataan static dalam soalan kan uh, move with constant velocity ataupun kadang-kadang dia cakap equilibrium so dia merujuk kepada this statement total force sama dengan kosong ok and then remember bila Miss cakap uh, force tu lah vector kan uh, maksudnya vector contoh kamu ada force kamu macam ni and then kamu kena resolve dia kepada fx dengan fy ok so possible lah um, keadaan akan membuatkan soalan tu akan membuatkan kita menjawab macam tu jadi kita boleh terperinci pecahkan dia total force x sama dengan kosong total force Y sama dengan kosong. Okay, so this is the overview. I'm going to teach you how to answer the question now.